Hi everyone, today I want to talk about Easy Remesh, a tool I made with a buddy of mine. It's basically a tool used for Z remeshing the model using polypaint and it's based on the tutorial I made last year. So last year I made this tutorial, you go through the steps after painting your lines and you get a better result from a Dynamesh model quite quickly in about 10 minutes or so. This tool is supposed to do it in about one minute one to two minutes based on the number of lines you have, how many polygons you have. So I want to quickly go through it and show you how it works. But the first thing you'll notice is that I've already got my lines painted because I'm trying to save time. It's about three million polygons. If you go to the wireframe, you can see more of my lines are painted. I've already got the polygon from paint done. Um, I'm going to run, I'm going to set my resolution to 10K and I'm going to run Easy Remesh I'm going to hold down the alt button because this has got two functions. Without alt, it runs without tessimation, and with alt, it runs with tessimation. So I'm going to run it with, alt, with tessimation, and I'm going to pause the video and get back to you when it's done. Right, this took about 40 seconds. I'm now going to half the number of polygons by pressing the button underneath it called Easy Remesh Half It. So just click that and you get this result. It's pretty clean. Um, it works quite well with larger models. This model is quite large, it's scaled up, so it was closer to, let's say, human size. I'm gonna test it now on a smaller model, which is about the size of a normal sphere in ZBrush. I'm gonna polygrip it from paint, quickly. It's only 500,000 polygons, so it will take long. Set it to 5K. And I'm going to use this without alt this time, without tessimation, and see what happens. Again, I'm going to pause the video and get back to you. So this is what we get without, or without using tessimation. I'm going to half this again, and we get this result. So the results are kind of similar. It doesn't matter what size it is, it works for all sizes. The reason I put in alt, um, a tessimation function on the alt button is because it works for both sizes, but tessimation only works better for bigger models. So if your model is quite small, and we go back to say this step here, where it's already polygrouped, and I hold down Alt, and then I use the Easy Remesh button, the first thing that happens, it melts the model. So tessimation is size dependent. If your model is really small, it will not look good. So I would recommend you using either bigger models or using the button without the alt without the alt function so you get the best results and also make sure your model is dynameshed so that it always works um, something else i added in to the tool was the ability to use the alternative version of zero measure which is basically when you press alt here if you hold down alt on this button half it it will use the alternative function just in case you get error messages up here because sometimes Zero measure can be a bit funny, so I added it, the Alt button in here to give you an alternative version of the alt, of the zero measure button. Okay, this is just a quick side by side of what happens when you use normal zero mesh versus the tool I created. So on the left, you can see what happens in ZBrush when you use a normal zero mesher without any lines, without any um, groups set up. You have a random flow of polygons and on the right hand side you can see what happens that my tool made sure that all the forms were kept sharp you can take this model into any package and clean up so i would say that these loops around the eyes are fine they're, they're good to go if you want to kind of like edit these you can and make them flow better but with these um, polygons here you'd have to do a bit more work to do these ones the ears again you can clean these up quite quickly in Maya or Max or Blender if you use that. Um, the back of the head is fine. And if I go to say increase all and I say group them all, you can see the flow is much better here. And you can use this for baking, reprojecting your model back onto this better. You can bake your normals onto this, you can take it into Maya, you can clean up and use it for a final mesh the original mesh you get is not going to be perfect 
but I can see a way to clean this up quite quickly. Add a loop in here, redirect these polygons, and you're more or less good to go. So the reason I made this was to make those processes quite easy. If you take this as a substance painter and UV it or use the auto UV tool, you can kind of get a really good result because the form is the same as the original. And yeah, it's kind of like make your life easy tool. So that's why I made it and I hope you find it useful. Something else I want to talk about is the slice function, which is here. So if you have slices in arms, fingers, whatever you need, and you add a slice into the model here, and you press this slice, easy slice here, I'm on clicking 5K and clicking it because every time you use the half function, it sets it to the this sets the number in zero measure to half, and if you press five up here, it will change it back again. So I always make sure every time you use a half function, you have to reset the number in resolution. I'm going to slice it now, and you get this result, which is very clean. And if I half it, you get half, half it again, and you get some really clean loops. And as you can see up here, it says it's a half. So that's good for fingers, arms, whatever long limbed creatures you're making and you want to get these nice clean loops, you use that button for it. Finally, I have a demo soldier with a jumper masked out for him. You can add masks anywhere. You can add masks on the arms. Anywhere there's a mask, it will, it will have separation between the models. So if I go to um, Easy Mask It, and I mask it out, press the button. You don't have to poly, poly group this, it will do it automatically for you. Just wait a second, so it won't take too long. And there you have your model separated with, with topology. And I can halve this as well to give you a better result. There's an alternative function in here as well. So if I go back to the masking function, I hold down the Alt button for easy mask it. It will give you an extraction so you have clothes without the jagged edges in your model. So if I unhide when it's done, if I unhide the demo soldier, you can see you have extracted jumper, no jagged edges, clean topology. Something else you can do is if you go to slice it. So what you want to do first is you want to have um, your slice tool, uh, your slice curve brush selected. And then you can slice the sleeves in here. And let's say I do a mirror and weld with my handy shortcut menu. So what you've got here, let me, let me undo that quickly because I kind of messed up. Um, go back, go there, go there. Yeah, that's better. Mirror and weld. Let's say we use this and we use this easy slice it button. It will, let me just isolate that. It will give you, it will redirect the polygon so you get good topology from bad topology. If I half it, you see what I mean. So all of a sudden your loops are flowing into one another and it gives you better retopology for shirts, whatever you need basically. Something I wanted to add to the easy mask results. If you find that your mesh isn't isn't thick enough for the model you need. What I would do is go to the Z Modeler brush and I would go to Q Mesh in Z Modeler brush and I would go to um, Polygroup All. And if I Q Mesh all the polygroups and hold down Shift, it will add, it will act like an extrude. So you can get a bit of thickness, more thickness to the the mesh you've extracted from. Um, your model and uh, just want to add that in quickly okay so that's about it it's going to be on gumroad it's going to be on all station it's about eight bucks um i hope you find it useful um i'll put a detailed instruction manual on how to use it it's very simple to use you get really good results from it and i hope you find it uh handy for what you want to, if you want to do any kind of zero meshing and you don't want to spend too much time you know messing about with 
where the loop should go, where you want your, how you want your polygons to flow. I hope you find it useful. I'm on Instagram as always. Find me Polyjunkie on Instagram, Twitter, R Station, basically everywhere. All that good stuff. All right then. See you later.